So we are in San Francisco today at the Lesbians Who Tech conference. There's a lot of lesbians, they tech. It's in the Castro in San Francisco. What is not to like about that? These are genuine people who are here to create a world that we can all believe in. A bunch of diverse, queer, fabulous, badass women that come together to like join in collaboration, talk about tech, talk about the world, talk about politics. To be around this many like successful and confident like gay women, I mean why go someplace else? So often we're left out of the spectrum of who is in tech and there's no fear to be who you are, to be politicized, to be creative, to span the scope of what technology can do. There's rock star talent uh, from the gay women's community just like there's rock star talent from everywhere. My soul's calmest light can sleep soundly through the night. To have like over a thousand queer women is really powerful and it's really invigorating and inspiring. You know, we're all in this together and I feel like it creates in some ways a healing space which I think a lot of us need right now. We have to talk politics because the politics are personal and they impact our everyday lives. Because it's so critical that you know we've marched and that's important and that's great but we need to now channel that momentum into political power. Nostalgic thoughts make a young babe crazy. Anyone who is interested in technology, anyone who's interested in people and surrounding themselves with really smart people, I think that they can get something out of this. I mean, I don't know. I guess I can't think of who shouldn't attend. Everyone should come to the conference. If you're on the fence, get off the fence and get your ass here. You're going to have a great time and you're going to thank me after. Thank you for your extraordinary service to our country. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Ashe, thank you, y'all.